welcome to the channel thank you everyone for tuning in join me on today's video where i'll be reviewing the pagani design pd1701 now everybody and their dog knows what watch this is homaging and there have been a fair few reviews on this particular model and those reviews have been extremely popular and this watch was also extremely popular in the aliexpress 1111 sales however i had so many watches to unbox i've still got another i don't know seven or eight watches to unbox so now it's time to start drip feeding these full reviews now there isn't much to say on this watch you know which hasn't been really said by all the countless reviews on there so i don't expect a lot of views on this video however still gotta give my thoughts on this particular model so one thing different about this is of course the dial um they have a fair few dial options they've also got a few versions and this is where i think it gets confusing when uh watchmakers you know start doing version one two three four um without kind of obsoleting the previous models because you don't really know which one you're getting sometimes you get new old stock from a lot of these sellers uh, and i think the main changes they made was around visibility uh, from the first one they came out with which also was very popular you know the normal black dial variant um but since then they've got i think out of the 12 total possible colors i think only five of them are the version three or version four models this being one of them this is the ice blue on camera due to the iso settings it seems to be quite an actual you know blue but in hand it's a bit more green um a bit more of a teal uh, kind of color now let me give you guys a wrist shot because i'm wearing something similar um this is a modified seiko 5s and sx uh, i believe um and again it's coming across quite blue but it's a bit more teal i promise you but that's a nice bright looking dial so anyway back to this so i think the main focus for me on this watch isn't going to be the dial because you've got loads of dial variants uh, it's going to be actually looking at the case and the bracelet to see how good for watch it is and now the price of this watch is extremely reasonable it's very affordable pagani design have gone back to kind of to the low budget prices in the sales it was around 75 dollars or around 65 pounds post sale price is around the 80 pound mark now in terms of specifications you've got a domed sapphire crystal or box style sapphire crystal now one thing i want to point out pagani design give us these super high dome uh, sapphire crystals which i'm not too much of a fan of it really is dependent on the watch style but this one is a fairly low dome um, and i think that looks much better and it suits the watch a lot more and they're also using the Seiko VK63 movement, which is a very reliable and functional movement from Seiko. And that movement gives you three subdials. You've got a 24 hour subdial at the three o'clock. Above the six, you've got a running seconds. And to your left at the nine, you've got a 60 minute timer, as well as that central chronograph hand, which I've got running. And the movement, as I said, is accurate reliable just a pick up and go watch and this one does not come with the date function um so it just kind of minimizes the setting the changes you've got to do now in terms of dimensions is a 42 millimeter asymmetrical case uh, with a 40 millimeter bezel you've got a overall thickness of 14.2 millimeters and you've also got a log to log of 48.5 millimeters and the overall weight of this watch is 150 grams which isn't too bad considering it's full stainless steel you've got a log width of 20 millimeters with a bracelet tapering down to 18 and back up at 20 at the clasp so let's get straight into the detail as you can see it is a fairly decently built dial you've got mainly printed features as well as that applied loom indices now i've seen on some of them where they have applied you know 3d markers but on this one it's just that applied you know kind of painted loom you also got a multi-layered dial with the sub dials you can see they are subset into the watch dial and the detailing always has been great from pagani when they look at these kind of chronograph watches uh, the dials are finished extremely well nicely printed legible numerals uh, you've got those concentric circles that go in the center so give you a lot of detail there the pagani design have got the logo and the name just below the 12 uh, as well as chronograph underneath nothing too excessive uh, and you know just about the right amount of information and in black it does stand out against this ice blue dial and the box sapphire crystal gives it a nice bit of distortion around the edges and that white ceramic bezel insert is okay although i'd say the numbers are slightly just a bit thin a bit faint i would have liked to see just a bit more kind of debossing in there uh, have them kind of etched into the bezel just a bit deeper uh, they are visible but it just kind of looks just slightly thin handset is your normal candlestick style hands um you know legible white plain sub dials you know glossy hands and a long second hand the proportions of the hands are spot on the minute hand does hit the track and as well as the seconds hand so they have kind of taken note from the previous watches you know of what people want uh, and i'm glad they've done that now moving on to the case as i said you know with the numerous dial options i think the main thing for me to look at today is the build quality of the watch and starting off with the case 
I can confirm it is a really well built case. In fact, as I go through the case and bracelet, um, you know, I surprised myself with how well built this watch is. They've done exceptionally well. Uh, and the main thing I'm looking at is, you know, the lines between the transitions. So within those twisted lugs, you've got brushing present, that, you know, beveled edge is polished around the case. And then you've got that super fine brushing along the side profile. And it is very neat and tidy. There's no overruns. Um, you know very crisp lines uh, so that is you know positive to see now of course the crown is also signed you got to give it to Pagani you know they sign everything they are very consistent in their branding which is kind of surprising from Pagani as opposed to some of the bigger brands out there for example San Martin still can't get consistent branding as well as so many others but PD have always nailed it from I say day dot pushes have a very nice you know positive click it's muted slightly uh, it doesn't need too much pressure um, and it does work well so let's just go through that reset, snaps back to the time. The crown, uh, it does have some nice splines there. You know, it is machined well. However, it's just a little gritty on the screw down. Um, nothing which will affect the functionality, but you can definitely feel some of that grit. I'm not too fussed about that, to be honest. Now, moving on to the case back, uh, you've got a screw down case back with the usual, you know, Pagani design specifications. And of course, you've got the rocket um, going into outer space, obviously in line with the theme. Now, while we are looking at the back of the watch, let's have a look at that bracelet. So you've got solid fitted end links. Uh, you've got solid links throughout and it looks to be a, you know, five link design with the two polished highlighted links. Uh, next to those center links which uh, you know is a lot of detail uh, for a bracelet especially at this price point and you know they've given us female end links as well so they've kind of ticked so many boxes with this watch it is quite incredible you know gotta bring the price in you know for the money they've done quite a lot uh, and it's far more than i'd expect from pagani design now these female end links only add about 0.3 to the overall log to log which is absolutely nothing um the bracelet itself does have split pin connection which is a bit of a trade-off but you know i don't really mind split pins they're so easy to size and it's a lot better than actually having a fight with those pin and collar systems um and screwing links you know i think from pagani design i think they're a bit more hassle than they're worth you get far more trouble from them um, moving on to the clasp this is a brilliant clasp it is milled internals and you've got a fold over twin pusher clasp and you know this is the clasp i'm referring to when i talk about previous pagani designs where um they gave us the old design clasp i don't know why this is great from them they should stick to this clasp it's uh, very nice in hand and it's finished quite nicely you've actually got a diver's extension which we're not seeing even at san martin level now i don't care what anybody says about this uh pressed diver's extension it works ultimately you don't need much when it comes to an extension and this actually works now of course it's on the wrong watch because you're not gonna go diving with this but the fact is they've included it i just wish to kind of carry that consistency over put this clasp on you know some of the diver watches so i really can't knock anything about this watch uh you know it is made well and that was my focus for this looking at how well built it is um and you know for the price they blow away the competition i don't think there's anything at this price point that can compete with pagani so i'm very impressed and i think everyone who bought one um i think this was probably the most bought watch on aliexpress especially you know from my affiliate links that i saw i hope you're all impressed with that watch the reviews are great on the stores there's a lot of models sold and this color you know it is quite catchy i didn't initially like it but you know it's starting to grow on me it's something different right it's something different from the traditional color option so overall i think this is really well made let's check out the loom because i know there's a bit of loom on the dial so not surprising the loom is poor usual pecan design standards uh, and again a point of inconsistency for them on a couple of very you know few models i've seen decent loom and then you get this uh, it's just poor quality loom and i get it the price point is 80 or 70 dollars but you know they've done so well in around the whole watch you know i don't know why they would just kind of miss out on the loom that is yeah very poor even though it's not a diver but if you're going to put it on there at least make it decent and legible for at least a couple of hours this is mere seconds uh where the loom is starting to die down and just become pretty much illegible so here's the Pagani PD1701 on my six and a half inch wrist. And that 42 mil case was, well, um, the log to log of 48 and a half is more than adequate for my six and a half inch wrist. The bracelet is comfortable, even though I haven't sized it because I'm, I'm planning on doing a giveaway with this watch. So I don't want to go through the, you know, the long thing of sizing it and putting the links back together. But it is a comfortable bracelet, right? Uh, the, you know, the small links, 
all articulate links as well so it's gonna have great wraparound great comfort on wrist uh, the clasp is good um, and it fits you know very well on wrist quite flat and I know why they're so popular now, uh, why the reviews are so popular and why they've sold so many. So if you're waiting to for someone to review this color, there you go. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you liked the review and I'll see you on the next video.